Hello, so I just wanted to do a quick video today to show you how I paint in an impressionistic style in Krita. It's not the best quality, but I thought it was fun and it might be interesting for you. I started with a base that was more or less the tone of the picture that I wanted to kind of stick with so that I could get my brain already thinking about what direction I wanted to go with the colors and make it come together a little bit more pleasantly from the beginning. Here I'm starting to lay down the frame for the window. I'm trying to lay down the highlights right off the bat because I'm trying to get an idea whether the values that I use in the overall picture will work together and harmonize nicely. I didn't realize that my screen capture had a filter on it, so it's going to look a bit more green than the final product. Trying to clean up some of my edges here before I move on. And here we just have a lot of back and forth, laying down the highlights and starting to put in some of the dark tones so that I can figure out how bright and how dark I want everything to be. This was a gorgeously lit photo with trees outside and so I'm starting to block in some of the shapes of the trees. I'm trying to focus more on the shapes of the, the darks and the lights rather than Oh, that's a tree. I should make it shaped like a tree. What drew me to this picture was the beautiful lighting coming through the window because I really want to practice more with lighting and that was the point of this whole exercise. So that's why it looks a little rough, but I'm okay with it. Now I'm really trying to focus on the light that's coming in through the window and will be hitting the table and I'm trying to make it look like shafts of light without actually changing the opacity. I kept the opacity at 100% because I wanted it to feel like painting instead of digital, <laughs> which is silly I know. I didn't realize that my screen capture had a filter on it, so it's going to look a bit more green than the final product. I know that digital art has the capability to look very smooth and polished, but like I said earlier, this was really just an exercise in making a convincing picture of light as an impressionist style so it wasn't really my goal to make it look very smooth so you'll see the shadows are very blocky and not blended and I promise you that's intentional. You may see my cursor jump around a lot. I had to make a lot of cuts because as this was live, I was spending a lot of time talking to my chat and not focusing on what I was doing. Starting to put in some of the highlights on the top of the table now. I don't know if it's easy to tell yet, but in the picture there's a really cool um, prism decoration in the window, which is shooting a circular light on the table, very, very bright light, and I only just started to realize that this was the case, so I started to put in the highlights for that as well.
I really tried to go for a loose style as that is one of my favorites in art. And so there's very little cleanup of edges, um, a little bit on the edge of the table, maybe some on the window, but for the most part, clean cut edges were not my goal. There was such a variation in the shadows that it took me a long time to even begin to get it nailed down. I always hate the beginning process where I'm blocking in colors because everything just looks hideous, but I do love when it eventually starts to kind of come together and form into something a little more recognizable. I'm trying to put more of a gradient in the bottom right corner where the shadows kind of blend into the lightness that is cast from the window onto the wall. I tried to focus a lot on values because that's a big weak point for me. So I was trying to pay closer attention to the different variations in tone and how dark or light the color should be. Even from the left of the window to the right side, the shadows are different. I didn't use the exact same shade for both sides because the right side was brighter because that's the direction that the light was pointing in. Here I'm adding in some of the shadow around the circular light that is cast by the decoration in the window. And that just makes it pop that much more. I'm starting to add in a couple of decorations from the window in the reference photo, but I did not use all of the objects that were in the reference photo because that would have taken way too much time. But I do love how little additions just bring life to the picture and just make it so much more inviting. I started out with trying to draw a very straight line, but to me it just kind of looked awful. I suppose I could have softened the edges a lot, but since the rest of the picture was already rough looking, I didn't have a problem with hand drawing the one beam of light that was coming through the window. And finishing off with some very sloppy looking flowers because we're nearing the end of the project. And that's it. Here's the final picture again. I hope you found this somewhat helpful, maybe slightly amusing. If you want to hang out in the future, you can follow me on Twitch and watch my art live or you can subscribe to this channel for more videos like this one. Have a great day.